Uh, this is soulmate love. This is a union, uh, deep emotional commitment with uh, someone. So that's a beautiful way, Scorpio. So it looks like you're finding a special union um, uh, that uh, you are connecting with, uh, have been. But yes, it's all about uh, a union with somebody, Scorpio. So let's look at your astrology cards. Yeah, you're connecting to the South Seventh House here. So a lot of you are seeing a special balance in a relationship. Uh, Venus, yes, you've got Venus to prove it. There is definitely going to be good times uh, uh, enjoying a soulmate uh, love, uh, finding the perfect union with someone. And it could be the connection to Aquarius energy. Uh, it does look like you are uh, finding new ways to discover yourself and to be out there maybe uh, maybe this energy that you're connecting to is very different from who you are uh, but it definitely looks like you're going to have a great time in the month of April for uh, love here let's look at your romance angel card uh, children your love life is being affected by your children so some of you maybe you know uh, this beautiful union having fun and uh, this perfect love relationship there may be something that you're going to have to um, you know uh, balance out with and it doesn't look like children may be affecting the love life uh, for some type of union for you Scorpio so let's look at your situation uh, the world card so it looks like in the month of April the situations you may have some choices to expand yourself uh, travel the world go to some new exotic and faraway places uh, enjoy yourself uh, more so I feel there's something about uh, you know a, a choice maybe for you to go through a different um, portal uh, a new pathway for you and it may be taking you far away it may be uh, allowing you to travel the world um, for uh, different adventures but uh, yes let's see uh, let's look at the challenge here your challenge is the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, this could be a fire sign, a Leo Sagittarius or Aries, uh, that uh, you are wanting to have a beautiful union with, to a Cups union. So it does look like, uh, uh, challenge yourself, have faith that if there's a, uh, a beautiful union with the Queen of Wands, a fire energy, uh, I do feel you're going to make some choices to be able to complete this 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 connection of love and to be able to uh, fulfill this desire so it could be that this union this love connection could be far away you're going to have to make a choice about whether or not you want to maybe finally connect and, and come closer together through uh, meeting each other um, so let's look at the rest of the cards and see how it's flowing here let's look at your past energy the nine of wands and um, the key card so yes I feel in the past there was something that you needed to be free from uh, there was something that you may have um, been wanted to um, you know let your guard down you, you you know you didn't want to fight anymore but I do feel you, you know, the key is to keep on believing um, in the past. Keep on believing that you're going to have this opportunity uh, for some beautiful choices. So I do feel the key is to keep on believing, keep on fighting. Don't give up on uh, maybe making some changes uh, or finding true love. Or, you know, because you have children, um, uh, don't give up on finding someone who may have also be in the same situation as you are to be able to have a relationship with children. So there's something about you not giving up from something from the past. And I feel it's something about love. Um, and now making choices to be able to be more free to connect to someone that you desire. Um, but yes, it does look like for some of you, there's a situation with children that may be holding you back from having um, a strong union with someone. But there definitely is an attraction with uh, someone who is definitely a strong soulmate, a vibration for you, Scorpio. So your foundation.
Ace of Wands, yes, yeah, so it does look like you've been trying to create some type of new beginning, some type of new desire. Uh, your foundation, uh, it's like you are wanting to put some action and and make some des some decisions now, some choices. Um, you have the strength and power now to really uh, do something about not giving up. Uh, I really do feel there was something maybe creatively that you were about to give up on Scorpio, but I feel there's some choice coming your way to maybe get out there more to the world, maybe being able to connect more to the world to really grow your business. Um, you know, this could be you being the queen of fire, Scorpio, using some new um, creative um Desire some new creative skills coming through. Um, you may be able to send more communication out to others that are really going to like this. So, if you're creating something in your foundation, starting something new, a new project, uh, trying to see if you know uh, choices about getting out in the world, uh, connecting to others far away, I do feel uh, you're going to be very successful. So, don't give up. You are going to see. Uh, you know, a wonderful um, development with the world card here. So message from spirit. Uh, yeah, you are definitely uh, receiving a lot of guidance and knowledge and wisdom from the other side here. A lot of you Scorpios, you already know how intuitive you are and, and you are the high priestess. A lot of, of course, you Scorpion energies are already at the high priestess level. Um, so I just feel this is a message from spirit to say, you know, you are the high priestess. Listen to your intuition. You are see, receiving some type of wisdom and guidance to see your, yourself through from something that you're about to give up on. There's something that she is showing you, and it's a new flow coming about some type of creative idea or adventure that you're about to embark on, Scorpio. Um, so wisdom, insight, creativity, uh, new action and desire, not giving up, fulfilling some type of new connection to others around the world. Uh, knowing which way to flow, connecting to the right people. Let's see the near future. Yeah, connecting to the right people, three of cups, uh, celebration, socializing, having good time, seeing the world. I, I, yeah, and then you've seen the world here. I, I feel this may be a connection to some of you, Scorpio, to be able to travel, to see the world, uh, connecting to others through what you do, maybe. Um, wisdom and insight that you're receiving is some type of idea from someone who's going to give you this this opportunity um, but I see a new creative idea a creative opportunity coming for you Scorpio um, and know that you are receiving some type of wisdom and knowledge of you know of you knowing that you can give and to others that are really going to be able to feel happy about what you what you're giving out what you're you know um um what word you're sending out. Sorry, I just had a blank there. So, um, so yeah, Scorpio, it just looks beautiful. I, I, I feel that um, there's going to be reasons to celebrate in the near future. Uh, there's a new journey, it looks like, some traveling going on, maybe a new opportunity for you to travel around the world, connect to other types of energies out there because of what you do. Uh, I, I feel there's going to be wonderful new opportunities, so don't give up on your ideas. There's going to be two Choices. And uh, it's through your power, it's through your strength, it's through your ability now to put things into action. Uh, and on top of that, love, uh, you know, connection to union, a partnership, um, uh, evolving also. So let's look at um, um, the Scorpion energy, Seven of Wands, yeah, and the uh, card of um, having faith in the burden card, having this burden in your heart, having to fight for something that you believe in, Scorpio. So I do feel there's something that you know within you you have to fight for, uh, something that you believe in, and you have to have faith, uh, you have to have belief. Um, but what it does, you know, it could be that this is what you've been fighting for for a long time, having belief in something that you have been wanting to create, and now you're getting some type.
up a new opportunity to travel, to make a choice about what you want to do. So don't give up. Yes, you're you're almost there. It's like don't give up on the battle, the fight, um, the burdens that you've had to go through, um, uh, the challenges that you've had to fight, the, the situations that have been challenging is all leading up to something coming up in April for some type of choice that's going to allow you to be more connected to others. Um, and others are really going to celebrate you. Uh, getting clear through the, the obstacles. See this this boat. You can see getting through the, the mountains. Um, connecting to others, really. Um, other people's energies. Yeah. There seems to have been some cloudiness. Maybe connecting to someone who could give you some type of opportunity to uh, grow your... Um, your creative ideas, your endeavors. Uh, but it does look like things are getting clearer now. There it looks like there's someone who's going to give you an opportunity, this King of Pentacles, uh, for something that uh, is going to lead you on to some type of new journey. Very successful, though. So I feel this King of Pentacles, things have been cloudy, maybe being able to connect to the right person to maybe have a right partnership with, with the Two of Cups. But I feel someone who has... Uh, the ability to help financially uh, grow your business or get you going. Um, I just see a lot of traveling. It may be that this could be this the soulmate that uh, is. You're finally going to be clear on who it is, and he's uh, the King of Pentacles. He's someone who um, does very well for himself and uh, wants to take you on some type of adventure and journey and enjoyment. So that could be that too. So look out for maybe an Earth energy, a Taurus, Virgo, or, or Capricorn for you, Scorpio, who is going to sweep you off your feet and take you on some type of adventure. But you also have this Queen of Wands here. That could be a fire energy, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, two big energies that I see at play for you. Uh, so hopes, wishes, desires. Um, whoa, you know, fear fear holding you back from hopes wishes and desires um there seems to be something that has been blocking you to having uh this love this happiness so you're gonna have to break free from some type of fear you have to see the truth of some type of snake that's been in your way for some of you scorpio you're fearing something or someone or a situation, um, but uh, you have to fight it. You have to fight that snake. There's something that you're going to have to challenge yourself, and uh, yes, you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to break free. Uh, the end result, it looks like you will. Look at this, how awesome, because you get the, the will of the year. This is great changes, positive changes, a destiny to your love life, changes that are positive, a union with someone, love. A soulmate, you, you get a positive change to a strong soulmate to love. Look at this beautiful connection to your destiny waiting for you. And it is through, you know, uh, challenge yourself through some type of fear. Uh, yes, it's about not giving up on maybe um, worrying that you would never find uh, the special love. And uh, it does look like it's really about not giving up now. Uh, fighting now to know that in April something, someone is coming to your rescue, it looks like, uh, that's going to help you see that you have um, new choices to make and a freedom to uh, get out there and mingle and have a lot more fun. There's someone I feel this King of Pentacles is really going to clear up your life, clear up the, the cloudiness and, and bring a lot of happiness to some of these Scorpio energies. Um, that's beautiful to see. So let's see your seashell uh, messages and see how they connect to your uh, beating here, Scorpio. So let's look at your first, and it's from the Ocean Oracle here, uh, from this wonderful energy, Michelle Hansen. And of course, her name is Michelle as a shell. She is someone who has dedicated her life to learning and connecting intuitively to all these beautiful shells. And um, just like rocks and minerals, they have their own energy and their own intuitive insight. So do the shells. So um, these are the shells that are really connecting with you 
uh, Scorpio energies for the month of April. So the first show you have here is called a warted egg cowrie. Wow, okay. It didn't look uh, warted, but um, it's called a warted egg cowrie. Okay, C-O-W-R-I-E. Interesting. Needing, and this is a wonderful way to learn about shells too, um, needing to detach, cutting the umbilical cord, gaining independence here. So, uh, yes, there is something about detaching, releasing, right? Um, I feel this is about knowing that with this shell, uh, you're going to detach from something karmically, uh, something that you've been able to finally release so that you can move forward to some type of new beginning, completion of a karmic cycle so you can come into union with uh, a new love uh, situation. So you're detaching from the old um, and seeing now uh, this new um, uh, independence for you to make changes for the positive. So 179, this beautiful show. This is called a uh, foliated thorn murex. I have, I think maybe she said the people who find this shell gets to name it because I'm like, uh, what are these names? Foliated thorn murex. Official forms, contracts, legal documents. So this shell is reminding you about having any type of forms, contracts, or legal documents that you might may sign. So um, this may be about getting through, uh, finally getting through a divorce, finally being free from a relationship and signing those documents. Um, but yes, it does look like your phone detaching, getting um, rid of a situation by being independent. I feel some of you are getting a divorce. Some of you are finally being free. The key is freedom, the freedom. Um, so yes, it does look like you're finally free to maybe move towards a, a true love situation for some of you, Scorpio. Um, let's look at the next shell here. This is a pretty cool looking shell. Uh, this is called a, a bed nails um, volute. <laughs> bed nails, bed nails volute. Networking connections. Yes, there seems to be some type of networking. You're going to have connections definitely with Three of Cups. Like I said, you got the fishes here. Communications, connections to others. So I feel that's a message from the Bed Knowles Volute here uh, is saying that you're going to make the right connections. There's something about because you've been networking before you've been connecting with others, you're going to be able to expand and connect to others worldwide. So I feel your networking is going to expand and connect to others um, worldwide. It's going to allow you to be more available to others to uh, doing something uh, creatively um, that you do. So let's see your last two shells here. Uh, sunburst carrier, preferring to be alone, avoiding attachments. So, um, yeah, some of you are breaking free and wanting to be alone um, uh, to really see changes that you are needing. But, boy, does it show that there's um, love, love. Um, so if you need some time alone, um, I don't think it's going to be that long before love comes um, uh, and to change things for you. So the last beautiful show here is this one. Uh, heart cockle. <laughs> That's beautiful. Love and romance. Isn't that gorgeous? The heart cockle is to tell you that there's going to be love and romance. Uh, yes, I do feel there is going to be love and romance. You definitely uh, have that in the month of April for some of you. Uh, uh, finding finally to love, changes to your destiny in love is finally happening here. So that's um, beautiful to see here. So, uh, yes, Scorpio, I do feel, I'm just going to close this up, that um, 
through challenges from the past, kind of the lessons that you've had to learn, detaching from a relationship, signing documents to free yourself from a relationship, um, taking time to be alone to understand what you want uh, now, um, breaking free from the fear of being alone, being lonely. Uh, you are making uh, new friends, uh, connecting to others who are going to uh, give you some type of uh way forward. I just feel like things are going to get clearer. You've got many opportunities to connect to, to others out there and that's why I feel this beautiful show is going to remind you April is going to be a, an important month of networking. Uh, you've got a lot of energies out there who want to help you uh, and want to communicate with you for some type of new idea, some type of new journey, connecting to others through communication. Um, but I do feel others are going to celebrate what you have. You are going to be celebrating and having a great time. It does look like love is really going to be uh, coming your way, if not already. But it does look like you are going to find a balance in a relationship, a partnership. Uh, you have the queerest energy. I feel this is something about your creative desires. You're doing something very different and unique in the way that you uh, bring out your talents, your skills. Um, but you're discovering new ways to, to be more ingenious about what you do. I just feel you're growing in your creative ways and your desires. You're going to be really shown and you're going to be seen out there. Uh, others are going to really notice you and appreciate something that you are um, showing or offering to others. Um, but yeah, I see a strong connection to a fire energy and earth energy uh, for sure here. But there is definitely some new adventures happening for some of you. Some of you will be traveling in the month of April. Having choices to travel and go and seeing maybe with your uh, true love here. Um, but yes, it looks like an exciting month here for you. So release the fear. Know that um, you are here to uh, have love and romance. And uh, uh, even though there may be you know, children that uh, may, uh, that you may be worried about. It does look like no matter what, you're going to find love. Love is going to be there. Uh, there's going to be communication for love. And if you have a relationship that's far away, I do feel you're going to make a finally make a choice to maybe meet this energy, connect with this energy, and really celebrate love and see if this can grow into something else. So what a powerful month, Scorpio. You are freeing yourself. You are going to be uh, given a new opportunity, uh, finding a, a strong connection to love, a soulmate, signing contracts, uh, maybe for something that's coming your way, a contract, a soul contract uh, with love, maybe. But I do feel you're going to receive some type of contract, something that you're going <coughs> to, excuse me, sorry, Scorpio, something that you're going to receive that may uh, give you an opportunity for some type of um, advancement um, in your career. So, uh, beautiful message, Scorpio. Uh, major arcana cards here. You've got the High Priest, the Will of the Year, and uh, the World card. Uh, beautiful major arcana cards here of knowing that uh, positive changes are, are happening for you, Scorpio. Yes, you do have Jupiter in your sign, Scorpio, until uh, November. So this is the time for things to happen for you. Uh, there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge and guidance that is coming your way, Scorpio, to move you in the direction that you should be going into uh, the world. This is about completion, and it's about excitement. It's about getting out there and seeing the world. I just feel you're going to enjoy a lot of you Scorpios uh, new experiences through traveling 